What's up guys, Shoney Dogs here, and today I'm going to be bringing you some gameplay of the all new game mode, Reinforce and Infinite Warfare. This thing literally came out seconds before I jumped into a lobby, and now I finally know what it's about. At first, when reading the description, it sounded a lot like Domination. I was able to read real quick that it said revive teammates by capturing points so I figured it'd just be like domination but when you capture points your teammates get a free revive. I was completely wrong. This game is just like search and destroy. You start out the game you immediately notice you have that counter up in the top left it says alive. The general concept it's basically search and destroy but instead of planting a bomb your new objective is to capture flags. You'll see in my first round of playing this, I had no idea what was going on. I just jumped into the middle of the map, got absolutely destroyed, and then got revived like two seconds later because my teammates captured B. But while I was waiting, I noticed it said a waiting point capture to be revived, and I was like, hold up, hold up. And I realized this was nothing less than search and destroy. Now, I was told there was a game type exactly like this in COD Ghosts. I didn't really play the game too much, so I can't confirm that. But if you played COD Ghosts, I'm sure you'll know exactly what Reinforce is about. Now the main points, what makes this different from Search and Destroy, you'll notice that right when we capture B, the round timer immediately went down to 45 seconds. It's as if we planted the bomb and the other team has to defuse. Unfortunately, the other team never captured B back throughout the game, so I still can't tell you exactly what happens. My guess would be that they start with those 45 seconds and we have to regain the capture or else we lose the round. But anyway, after I think the second round, I noticed I had like six kills and my teammate had more points than me who had one. I didn't realize after you cap even the, just that home base, it gives you 200 points. Flag captures give you a crazy amount of points in this. I actually almost ended up with a warden. I died one kill off, but the game was pretty much over anyway. I did pretty well. The game type's really fun. Again, main difference is, instead of bombs, you have flags. Once you cap two, it initiates those 45 seconds, that round timer. It's very easy to get streaks as each flag cap grants you 200 points, as well as reviving all your teammates. Besides that, you're pretty much playing Search and Destroy. I do like the concept though because it discourages camping. You don't want the other team to get B flag. And you'll see later on in the video, I was in a one-on-one -on -one situation and decided to go straight on that B flag, forced him out, took the easy kill and won the round. So there definitely are going to be some new strategies involved. Maybe this game type will evolve to the point where people don't even cap home flags. Maybe they'll think of that as a strategic advantage. The game type is very fun. I'll definitely be playing it a lot over the weekend. You'll see me choke the warden at the very end of the video. If you guys enjoy, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks for watching.
strategies should guarantee success. Scarab active. 